and I uh, welcome one and all. All for one and one for all. It's not just the musketeers, it's the plea of Christ from beyond, our great beyond, his message of Malachi 3.1. For these are the days where it is proven by logic and reason that we do have obsolete faith. All calling upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, the Bible says, and yet we're arguing over religion. Where does it end, people? So it's time. The days of Elijah are here. And it was always foretold that one would come forth from the north. Uh, one named Daniel, uh, Isaiah 41 and Daniel 12, 13. And that when this person came forth, that the Lord would have him restore all things. The Elijah task servant of Malachi 3, 1 that would turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, children to the fathers, through the Lord God's everlasting covenant over all of mankind. Praise the Lord. He says, I will be your God. You will be my people. I'll forgive your iniquity. Never remember it. Sending Satan to the pit for a thousand years. Beyond that, he says, I'll write my law and my love upon your heart, and no one will ever need to be taught of me anymore, say, says the Lord. For all shall know me from the least to the greatest. Once you know he's unconditional love over us and that it has been veiled until the end provably, then there's nothing more to really understand. And so realize, as it is written, there has never been any righteous person. Not one, says the Bible. And uh, all of our righteousness has been as filthy rags compared to the Lord's transcendent love that has been available always for each and every one of us, not letting our love die right out, blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, to, to let our His light within us to go right out for all of us that have our faith and love alive as a child are born again regardless of what you believe those who love are born of God and know God because God is love and only I am standing alone in the world rebuking all religious spirits and uh, I shouldn't say only I but I have the fullness of truth I hold the scepter of all authority, Genesis 49, 12. I am Shiloh, Genesis 49, 12, one whose eyes are red and dull of wine, the alcoholic of Zechariah 3 that brings the flying scroll of Zechariah 5, the alcoholic that God gave the vision unto to bring God's glory to cover the earth as waters cover the sea. And it was written in Habakkuk 2, 2, let all those who readeth it run who hear the words being read uh, because it's time to run for the kingdom age and know that uh, th that it is absolutely sure that I know of my soul's not upright and none of us uh, our souls have ever been fully upright nobody's elevator always goes to the top and it's praise God it's time that uh, I am so thankful personally as an alcoholic uh, because the Lord sanctifies uh, whatever herbs or wine that I might have, and he forgives all of our sin. Jesus said, all of your sin will be forgiven except the unforgivable sin to let the light of love go right out of you. But praise God, all of our sin means all of our sin. Um, it is written that we will be as the angels. That's because we are angels in the flesh. All the creation has been groaning with great expectation for the revelation of who we are. The first is last, the last is first. And the glory of the Lord's latter house is greater than that of the former because we are made higher than the angels. That's why we would be sexless um, in the day to come, just like the angels because that's exactly what we've all been. But uh, Paul foretold that all the creation has been groaning with great expectation for this revelation that I give unto you now. Jesus said we were gods in John 10, but that's what he meant, because truth is he was Emmanuel, God in the flesh, and he came forth to a world of angels in the flesh. Because in the moment that Abraham lifted the knife over his, his beloved Isaac, it proved in that moment that either God would commit into doing the same thing 
uh, because otherwise it would only have proved that man had the capability to love God more than God had the capability to love us if he would not be willing to do the same thing. So praise our Lord God, Elohim, Adonai, Allah. His name is Isa, Yeshua, Jesus. He is love and he is the risen good shepherd over all the flocks of man, not just Christians, but all the flocks of man, just as he foretold in John 10. Let God be true and all men liars. And so praise God in these latter days, he's saying, and it is written, it is written, Jeremiah 30, 24, and this shall be considered, this shall be considered, this shall be considered. I shall return my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation if my people will give me the desire of my heart that he prayed for in Gethsemane, the oneness of the brotherhood of love arising. So praise God that he is the merciful, the relentless, and the blazing fire of life. And from his heart of hearts, he sends mankind his very best wishes and good tidings by telling us that Jonah 3 proves the prophecy has been told not to tell the future, but to change the future. God relented, and once again, so shall he if we arise in love that he is requesting. So let the just therefore receive uh, me as his messenger and believe the truth of Romans 3 for all all men all people are all gone out of the way and there is no person that really does good our throats have been open sepulchres and our tongues have been deceitful even unto ourselves for mankind has been deluded by a demonic form of religious blindness that's kept God's peace from us. The poison of asps are under the lips of the religious who are shallow as a glass of water in these days of Elijah where God wants to pour out the great ocean of his adoration as the living fountains of his living water comes forth from the sapphire sea above. And he's going to pour out his benevolence as a seas of rapids of his most exciting kind of charity the benevolence that always comes only from the magnificence of his beneficence. And so praise him now that um, all others will only be embracing the darkness of the ignorance of love, for love only irresistibly desires to irresistibly be desired. Love always forgives, and forgiveness is love. They are the one and the same word. But love is not even love until it is given away. And the gross darkness of this world of Isaiah 60 has been that all people have desired unconditional love, but no one wants to give that. It's time that we do and will and shall, and that is what will bring forth the kingdom age. I am Shiloh. I am Genesis 49, 12, the alcoholic. Don't stand there and jump up and down, Jesus, we Shiloh. You know, I thought that for most of my life until I realized ah, he made wine out of water, but he wasn't an alcoholic. I have been an alcoholic all my life. And I still am, and tonight's my drinking night, and I've just started, so I'm not slurring my words quite yet. But praise God that uh, the banisher has been banished. The, the Iblis, Satan, Diablo, Beelzebub, Mephistopheles, the snake of Eden, Lucifer, he is gone because God has given his covenant saying, I will be your God, you will be my people, I will forgive your iniquity, never remember it, right there, snookered. Satan was because that devil had to be uh, hogtied just as Daniel 12 1 foretold because he has been the accuser of the breath brethren day and night before the Lord as the book of Job foretold and so he would have caused God to be an absolute liar if God did not uh, reverse the curse and remove him he would have done exactly that and reminded God about our sin and then that would have made God into a, a liar and it would have voided his word and all against that are against uh, foolishness. So praise God, it's time for uh, Cloud by Day, Fire by Night by my favorite songstress, Joanne McFadder. Let the world get her materials going viral. It's a sick, it's a sick world and the world needs uh, the fire of love to come forth to give us a re resting place and so praise God that um, 
these are the days when we don't have to keep being filled with cursing and bitterness. Uh, these are the days when it's been a small world after all, a world of festering fears and tears, but our perfect love, Christ's love through us can toss all of that away. And so praise God that no more do we have to have uh, feet that are swift to shed blood. Destruction and mercy have been our mindless ways, and the way of peace we have not known. But behold, the Lord's word through his end time, Elijah has come forth to turn the hearts of everybody to everybody. And in the spirit, this has always been foreseen because God is pouring out his refiner's fire and the mystery of God is over. As soon as the seven trumpets sounded first, because the first was last and the last was first, immediately the uh, all nations became the Lord. And this happened one of the last things, just as Satan's banishment was one of the first things. First is last, last is first. So when the seven trumpets sounded first, all nations became the Lord. The, the vision of God it, with Lucifer, even though it was written one of the last things, it became one of the first things. And I'm going to show you one other thing here. Same thing with New Jerusalem. All you got to do is just Google it. And uh, I'm typing in uh, New Jerusalem, NASA, the Hubble telescope pictures that they have taken. And the Lord has shown me a hundred million percent. This is the kingdom age, New Jerusalem, heading towards our world. And again, it is one of the first revelations instead of the last, because the first is last. And the last is first. Prophecy cannot even be satisfied unless you realize that the Bible had been coded in such a, a, a way. So praise the Lord, it's time that we can take a giant leap ahead. And for uh, when I bring forth the refiner's fire, uh, the refiner's gold, uh, it will fan the Lord's holy flame of life so that even the blackest coal spiritual can transform into spiritual diamonds. And uh, so it's time to be led into all truth by our living Lord God. And because he is even bringing forth the honesty that the divine restoration of Acts 3.21 is here. The great restitution, the, the great... Uh, um, the great renovation of our carpenter of the age is because he has lowered his plumb line of Amos 9, revealing that he is the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken his reaper. So praise God. So let all people, whether they be of the crescent moon, the cross, or uh, of the uh, star of David, all people of the Abrahamic people stand together along with all people of the earth. These are the days for the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, because God's word was only closed for the time of the end, Daniel 12, 9, the canons open because of Malachi's message, Christ's message of his kingdom age covenant for all mankind. And because of that, it happens in the days of the Daniel, latter-day Daniel, who would embrace his destiny, Daniel 12, 13, and that is why Satan has been removed, Daniel 12, 1, because I am the messenger unto Israel. That's why I've got uh, my Canadian flag there uh, from the north, Isaiah 41, and Israel hasn't said a mumbling word. It's foretold. I would just be ignored. Uh, Isaiah 49, 4 said the same thing, that everything I would do was in vain. Christ did nothing in vain, people. And so praise God, it's time that we move ahead in love. And it's time that love takes center stage. And the Lord God says he has inspired through his uh, spirit, of prophecy, spirit of prophecy. I'm waiting my merge. Cut me off. He says he has inspired um, his end time revelator for the benefit of all people. You cannot make bricks without straw and you cannot restore all things without rest revel, revelation of revelation matthew 17 11 said elijah would surely come first and restore all things by the word of god by his message that goes before him always so praise god that um every video on these channels this is the kingdom age channel will be like twigs of the burning bush which are aflame mightily with the heaviest holy presence of love for those willing to walk into the presence of peace 
love, faith, and hope. And abundant hope do we have now, people. The Lord is guaranteeing us that uh, he will return his terrifying anger and stop the fast-rising great tribulation, Jeremiah 30, 24, and do a repeat of Jonah 3 and relent and, and cut the, the time short by his word. Only God's word, Matthew 24, 22, only God's word can cut time short. Jesus said that unless these days were cut short by his word anew, no flesh could survive. He is bringing the hope for this hour. So praise God that these are the most exciting times of all when Isa Yeshua is again speaking forth unto the nation of Israel. And it's interesting that in Isaiah 41, the messenger of Israel, even though they would not say a mumbling word, just ignore me, the rest of the world, it says, will come to realize that I am right about everything that I've been preaching and that this has been taught since the beginning. Genesis 49, 12, Habakkuk 2, 2. Uh, Joshua, um, uh, Zechariah 3. I, I go on and on. But uh, read it for yourself and know that all th these have been happening now because time is short, uh, along with the fulfillment of absolutely all things. And his living word of peace is now prepared in the most perfect preparation for a doubting world that embraces nothing as atheists do. And praise God that there are born again atheists. If there are loving ones like Pendulette, um, I don't. I can't sit in judgment over none of us, and nobody, and none of us can. Uh, it's never been about believing because the Bible disproves that. Because those who love are born of God and know God, because God is love. First John four seven, and, and John wrote that his words would have to go again to all people, to all tribes, to all nations when the flying squirrel came, when the everlasting gospel came that has to go again to all people because people didn't get it the first time. So the Lord is saying that this dove is for eternity and it has been written in volumes that it um, for his faithful few and he knows that there are hearts, many hearts that are religious waiting upon him but God is sending the answer to their prayers uh, it's like that joke about well first first he sent a, a boat then he sent a, a bigger boat and then he sent a helicopter and you no know, uh, God's gonna save me and then he goes to heaven and he's dead and God why didn't you save me well God is trying to send this to the world but people just want to ignore it because they automatically think Chrislam is uh, joining Christians and Islamic together. No, it's not. It's joint, God joining all mankind together because Israel has inherited all mankind. Don't take it out on the messenger. Uh, read Isaiah 54, 3 and tell me that is not prophesied. Truly it is. So let new sacra sacraments now begin as the words of the dove psalms uh, of our majesty of majesties are now sung all over like the sweetest of songs fit for our creator who he is so praise god that the sharpest holy wings of his gospel of love from his most regal eagle of the eons his fluttering dove of the whitest wings of love is now spreading global oneness evangelism for it is the sickle of the spirit of Isaiah 2 and Micah 4 that must be beat into the uh, from the sword we must the sword of the spirit was distortional we only knew in part only saw in part looking through a glass darkly but with the sickle now all revelation has been given and the wise might shine as the stars as it says in Daniel 12 so praise God in the name of Isa Yeshua Jesus uh, it is time that mankind knows that this very best good news of all was born upon the whitest wings of the Lord's Islamic dove of peace. And his fire of love is now blazing away in all souls that will be willing to be a mirror to reflect the love of our Lord of always unto all people because he always bears witness to that. And so let all courageous souls soldiering onwards now come to understand that they need to send this word of uh, love forth because otherwise uh, they're just hiding God's light. And it's time that all people that are tares are going to be left behind. Only the wheat will come with me. And uh, all the remaining tares will never survive the mighty wind that's coming. Uh, heaven sent power for a time, times and half a time. 
the shattering of the power, that is the length of the duration of the vision manifesting. I've been preaching one year, a little over one year, so we got a little over two years before religion on earth collapses as it has been known on planet earth. So it's time that one like Moses has come, Deuteronomy 18, 18, a kingdom age covenant giver, a writer, and one that leads another great exodus, leading the tares out uh, of uh, leading the wheat out from the tares. Because if you don't take the good fruit out of the bowl where bad fruit is, all the fruit comes bad. And there is a brainwashing that has happened in the world. And uh, the wor this racism is going to be stamped out. But it's going to take the end of religion as it has been known because all religion has been nothing but a factory for spiritual racism. I was the worst of the worst. Uh, I, I've walked up to a million people strong in my profession as a marketer and I, I, I can talk. And uh, But even doing that, if I, if I discerned you weren't a Christian, I looked down on you immediately thinking, oh, they're going to hell. <laughs> and the Bible has never said anything like that. It's man-made religion. So it's time for the order of the owl. And I am Owlsley. Google my name, Daniel F. Owlsley, O-W-S-L-E-Y, and you will do images. You'll see 200 uh, uh, books that I've written. And I've studied to show myself approved. And I'm proud of this. I got one of the biggest uh, apologetics, uh, my hero actually, I love David Wood, and I, I, I always will uh, tell people, watch his testimony, it's fantastic, love you David, but um, he's grumbling because he has no response for me, I've shut the mouth of the best uh, apologetics um, guy out there, he's, I've invited a debate, I've invited a talk, he's got nothing to say, he's just mumbling because everything I'm saying is accurate, dead on according to the word of God, and he would have no, he'd lose that, and so David would, I'm calling you, come and debate me, I guarantee you will lose, <laughs> I know that before I start, good story.